Okay, so before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone for 100 subscribers. I am so thankful. Oh my God, we are finally here. We are getting up there. So let me just show you guys today how I did my cousin's feed in cornrows. These are five feed in braids. Very cute and simple and easy. And I got my son with me right here. We're going to do this voiceover together. So let's just get right into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I used two packs of the pre-stretch braiding hair. There was three bundles in a pack. I didn't use all of it, but I used um, most of it. And right now I'm just showing you how I'm braiding the first braid. I had to section it off and start with the front first. Mm. How, how does that look, Tris? interesting yeah you know <laughs> because um when you're doing the feed in braids you have to section off your hair first um the loose hair and then wow. we're going to we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna add small pieces of braiding hair in little by little starting from the top and gradually get to bigger pieces as we get to the bottom of the braid to give it that natural looking beautiful effect on uh, my little cousin Kayla look at her so that's what I'm just doing right here I'm just braiding it down how does that look Tris? I don't know does it look good or um, does it you know do you think that you can learn from watching this no <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so anyways um yeah so you're just gonna keep braiding all the way down and keep adding hair underneath as you're going down just to give it some more thickness and fullness and yeah so i'm just doing that all the way through and it's coming out pretty good it, that is a lot of hair that i'm adding but you'll see in the end how it turns out well, you already seen it because I put it in the video. But you want all the hair to, how can I say this? You want it to all come together at the back. You don't want any gaps and spaces. So you want to make wow, sure it's nice and full. Lewis. I know, Louis. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I'm over here just talking. <laughs> Look at it right there. I forgot to edit that out, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Louis in the corner. He's so cute. He was over there messing with the chair, kept moving it. While I'm trying to breathe. Messed up my room, too. Mm-hmm. Messed up the whole house. But it's okay. It's all right. We still love you, Louis. All right. So, right here, as you can see, I'm still on that first braid. And I'm just braiding it down. I'm not going to braid it all the way down to the end. Because I want to make sure all the ends are the same length. So, I'm just going to braid it, you know, mostly all the way down. And I'm just using my Shining Jam right here to slick it and I'm gonna do my small braid when you do the small braid you want to make sure that the parts are very very clean so you shine and jam and make sure you part it and make sure the parts are very very clean for the um the smaller ones because they're small and you don't have a lot of hair to work with so they have to be perfect so that's the amount of hair that I'm using and we're just gonna braid and we're gonna add um, this popcorn is good. We're gonna add it. Boy, <laughs> I'm adding braiding hair to the little braids as well because if you don't add braiding hair to the small braids, it's gonna look too thin. So we want it all to match. So just add some braiding hair to the smaller braids. You see how I'm doing it, Tris? Doesn't that look good? Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure if if I um gave you like one of my mannequin heads, you could probably do this. Those too. things are evil. No, mm -mm, no, no, yes, no. Yeah. So right here, I'm just braiding all the way down. Is she playing Roblox? I don't know. I don't know what she's playing. Kayla, <clears throat> Kayla, what are you playing? That game is paid to win. <clears throat> Evil. Okay, so right here. <laughs> this little boy is too much. Leave her alone. I'm just doing some more braids. A bra I mean, not braids. I'm over here just parting it and making it look more, you know, 
better so now I am on the third big braid and then we'll just have two more to do after that do you think this style could be used for a boy as well Tris no not really just a girl yeah I mean if it didn't have any of the fake hair in it do you think that a boy will be able to wear something like that because it looks kind of I mean like it's kind of curvy but like I don't, I don't know maybe maybe you think boys look better with a straight back style with a part in the middle yeah like I like the regular braids more but what what do you consider regular what is regular braids it's just like normal braids that go straight back so when it's curved like that you don't think that that's for boys no I'm not saying they can't wear it I'm just saying it wouldn't really look right oh uh, yeah, I guess. I do like when men wear a part in the middle. But then again, I do your hair with a curve sometimes. Yeah. It's not like that, but... Too curvy. Yeah, you know, that's too curvy for you. But on her, it looks really good. When Kayla sees this video, she's going to hate us. No, she not. <laughs> no, she not. It looks good. Look at this. Looks really nice. Yeah, we professional. That's why. We wait. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. We yes, we we. Do mm-hmm. you sit there and take the time to braid hair on a daily basis like me? No, I just sleep. I know. <laughs> now with this quarantine, everybody sleep. So I hope everyone is staying safe in the house and staying quarantined like us. Hopefully, this will all be over soon. But anyways, back to the video. So as you can see, I was just cutting off all the fuzzy pieces and flyaway hairs. Now I'm just dipping it in hot water and then I'm going to put mousse on it. The mousse will seal the hair as well, the top of the hair, and along with the molding wraps. You want to make sure you wrap a lot of those around the hair and sit your client under the dryer for about... How long did I have her under the dryer for? I don't know. I was asleep. Oh my God. It was like 15 minutes not too long but yeah just put some mousse let her sit under the dryer get the hair nice and tight and then cut those wraps off and boom well you have to do the edges after that you want to do the edges and just touch up anything maybe add some hair jewelry add some um hair accessories to it like i did and boom look at that look oh my gosh it looks so good how does that look Chris? okay <laughs> and it's the before again and after and i thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay blessed and stay safe